Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. We are on week two of our squirrels, acorns, and leaves theme, and we started adding some Thanksgiving as well. Please make sure to watch last week's video where I go into more detail on how we set up the classroom. And also, at the end of this video, you will find the uh, some of the pictures of our principles that we're using, and in the video's description, there are the links to the printables as well. So I'm just going to kind of take you through quickly since um, I already showed you the classroom last week and I'm, I'll just point out some changes I made. On the light table I made a little sensory bag. I put some acrylic leaves inside two Ziploc bags and I taped them both closed and then I also taped it to the light table. This part is for the two-year-olds and then the three and four-year-olds since they share our classroom I put together that the leaves are also loose so they can sort them by color um, but when the two-year-olds are here such as today I will remove those because uh, they're just too tempting to put in the mouth. And then when we round the corner over here, you will see that we move the squirrels away and we are looking at different leaves that we're finding outside. Some of the children are bringing leaves from home and leaves from their walks. So we've been exploring different colors and we also found some sticks and some moss. So we have the magnifying stands that they can look at them as well. And the dramatic play area is the same as last week. We have our, we still have our gourds out and little pumpkins, and then we have our sandwich uh, makings. They've been pretending to have picnics, and then our little um, microwave that we've had for probably 15 years that someone donated to us. I brought that out because they love that. I might put that at the Play-Doh table again because they, they had fun with that last week. And then the forest animals are over here and they can take these and bring them over to the dramatic play area. They can have a little picnic with them. And as you can see, we've got leaves going on as a decoration. And look at those beautiful windows and we have so many beautiful colors out there that they can see as well. And then when we round the corner over here, we have our table activities and we have our sensory bin which has been changed out. We did finally remove the pumpkins. We are using the same rice but I brought in, I bought some rattan balls and the children love how they kind of stick together and the texture and we have leaves and we have um, some pine cones and tweezers and little cups. At the art table, we are getting ready to make our thankful banner. I am thankful, and I'll drop a link to this in the video's description. This is a free printable, and so they're going to roll paint onto the bubble wrap and then press the paper down, the leaf shape, to get, make a print. They really have enjoyed this type of art, so I wanna keep it going. And then we have our different assorted fall color sheets at the writing table. We also have, um, I gotta straighten this up a little bit, we still have our picture cards, our tracing cards as well. And then over here we have our Play-Doh, which has stayed the same. They've really enjoyed that. And then we around the corner over here and we have our reading area. So basically a lot of it is the same as last week, but we took away the spiders, we took away the pumpkins, and I'm adding some more Thanksgiving, mostly talking about thankfulness, and I have some printables that you'll see at the end of this video. And look at these trees that the three and four year olds made. I'm not the teacher of that class, but they share this room with us and one of the teachers can't cut all those out and I'm like wow it's a lot of work but they are so pretty so I'm going to open the classroom door and greet the children and then you can see how we are enjoying our second week with this theme So 
one thing this group loves is they love process art and they love big, big motions. So normally when I do our thankful uh, banner, I have them paint it or maybe even glue. But this group, I knew this would be better. Each year is so different. And so I found a way for them to be able to use big, big motions using the rollers and then pressing the paper on top. It was a huge hit. And popping the bubbles is fun too. Do you see, we see all these colors. We put the colors here. We've got yellow and orange and green. Alright, now we're gonna put the leaf down. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. You would like, you're ready to pat your leaf too? And then pick your leaf up and let's see what it looks like. <laughs> I love how these turned out. I wish I would have actually done this originally. I think I actually like this method better. Look it. It's a leaf. Um, orange. It's orange. Orange. And one of the things we've been having fun with is oh, I bought this mug holder at Goodwill. It's missing an arm on it. But we thought to hang our barrel of monkeys from it and they really have had fun. Oh, I'd love to have some coffee. Oh, thank you so much. I get coffee served to me. I am a lucky teacher. Let me take a sip. Mm. Looks like we're packing up the basket here. As I said in previous videos, baskets, bags, anything that can be filled gets filled as much as it possibly can. Feathers on or pretty close. 
Tschüss. All right, squirrels, we're pretending to be squirrels walking to gym. Squirrels on the squirrel train walking to the gym. Here we go. The squirrels need to sit down before we go into the gym. We always sit down before we're, and then we're invited in after everyone sits. All right. Tap. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, let's walk together. Let's go. Walk outside. I'll see you in a few minutes. Want to say what? What are backpacks today? Backpacks today? It's cold? It's cold, yes. Oh! I don't know. So that's how we have our classroom set up for the squirrels, acorns, and leaves, and Thanksgiving theme. Make sure to be following Teaching Two and Three-Year-Olds on YouTube and click that bell icon so that every time I publish a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.